Hey guys, welcome back. Today is just me. Uh, Lorena opted out on our current video because she didn't go to the convention. So just to guys let you guys know. Um, we haven't done a video in a while just because of personal issues. We should be getting back in the rhythm um, starting this week. Um, so let's just get started. Uh, so l over the weekend, it was Tokyo Game Show. And if you don't know, that's one of the big uh, video game conventions that happens in Japan. series of tips and information I want to give you guys for Tokyo Game Show if you do want to go just so you can have it already at your hands or fingertips I guess you could say all right so let's start number one the location of Tokyo Game Show is not inside the Tokyo hub it's just right outside but it, you know it's the same thing um, it takes place at a stage at an event called um, Makura uh, Makuhari Messi uh, Convention Hall um, and it's at the station, Kahin Makura, Makuhari Station, sorry. Um, it's not that far away, um, so it's pretty close if you want to, you know, take the train there. Alright, now for a Tokyo Game Show, a little overview of things you want to do or be ready or think about um, if you do go. Tickets are about a thousand yen or about ten US dollars. Um, if you purchase them in advance, you can purchase them, purchase them at the door for about two dollars more, so twelve dollars USD or 1200 yen um, not too bad if you do want to get a more VIP ticket which comes with like a t-shirt and maybe some other benefits I'm not too sure of um, that maybe doubles you know maybe 2000 maybe 3000 yen $20 $30 I'm not too sure but those sell out quick online so you if you do want to do that you gotta just keep an eye on it really you know be on guard for that all right and the hours for the convention are from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. so it's only what seven hours and of the seven hours, um, you gotta eat, and the lines are super long to get your food there. Um, there are some places if you don't want to get something like, uh, like made on the spot, so like, like they're they're cooling down. I guess you could say those are like lunch boxes or bentos. You can get those, uh, but if you want something nicer and if you want to sit down like on a nice chair, um, there was a stadium this year. Um, I didn't see it last year, and. Um, I wasted maybe an hour there, you know, having to get my food and then eating. Yeah, so maybe six hours, um, really for the whole event. Um, but if you, you know, if you're coming from an international spot, um, you might want to do Saturday and Sunday if you do want to get, um, as much hands-on as you can get, you know. If you're coming for that reason, I'm assuming you would go for two days, right? Why not? Um, but yeah, so Saturday and Sunday are the 
public days, and Thursday and Friday before the weekend are the press days. So if you have are able to get a press badge, you know, you can do all four days and you get benefits. Like you might get uh, to cut the line if you have a press badge or something. But for public days, it's just Saturday and Sunday, and it's uh, first come, first serve kind of. And another tip for Tokyo Game Show, because it does open at 10, you are allowed to line up before that, of course, um, but they don't allow overnight um, campers or lining up for that. Um, I don't know if people do. I've never, you know, I don't live in the area to um, able to afford that luxury. Um, but uh, apparently you can line up, or they start selling tickets, I'm sorry. They start selling tickets around the first train, when the first train leaves in Japan, which is around 5.30ish in the morning. So that's when you can start lining up. That's when they start selling tickets. Um, there was a guy uh, I saw on YouTube. He had a hotel in the area. That's nice. If you do want to go like in line right away, I would get the hotels in the area. Uh, he had a hotel in the area, and he got up, and he was recording from his apartment down into where everyone was lining up. It was about 6.45, 6.40 in the air, uh, morning. There was already hundreds of people. I wouldn't be surprised if there, if there were thousands already lined up. Um, and at 6.45 for me on that day, I was just waking up in my apartment and I live, you know, 30 minutes away by train. So, yeah, and I think I showed up right before eight. So by the time I got there, it probably double, tripled, you know, quadrupled. I have no idea. It was just super long by the time I got there. And this year for me, it's my third time going. Uh, uh, even though I felt early, it was still late. Um, I wanted to play some cool games there, but there were already all the tickets to play games. They're, they're not like, you just line up to play a game. You have to get a ticket, and then it'll, it'll probably tell you the time for you to play. So you get your ticket. But all the tickets were already sold out, so I didn't get a chance to play like the main AAA games, like Kingdom Hearts or a VR, PlayStation VR game or something, so those are all gone. Um, there are some other places where you probably can line up, um, and just play without a ticket, I'm not too sure. Um, I didn't really bother to do that. Shall we begin? This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Is that all you got? Alright, and this next section is for tips for taking videos, taking photos, and um, just following like the customs on how to do that here in Japan. I've never been to a convention in the States, like uh, the Comic Cons or anything like that. Um, so all my experience is in Japan and how the Japanese think and do things. Okay, so if you come to Tokyo Game Show, you're going to probably see some of those uh, quote-unquote booth babes. You know, the girls that look really nice in their cosplay outfits and they're promoting the, the booth and the uh, games and the, they're like the advertisement, you know, live advertisement. Um, so some places do not allow you to take photos or videos. They'll have signs and they'll just say like a picture of like no camera or no video or no cell phones, you know. So you just follow those things. Um, if they don't have it, then you're fine to take photos. 
Um, I'm just letting you guys know that in case you're the only one in the area, because there, there could be, if you're in the indie department or something, you might notice that uh, might be the only one and not know who to follow. So just look for signs. If you don't see a sign, just ask to take a photo. If you can't speak Japanese, you have your camera. And just point at it and they're like, okay, you know, so you can take the photo. Um, other times, you'll be, most of the time, you'll be surrounded by people. So one of two things is going to happen. The one, um, if you're in the main halls, what's more likely to happen is you can have a crowd of people around one person, just like this, on one side, I guess. And everyone's just taking photos, like, going crazy, you know? Uh, like paparazzi, I guess you could say. Um, so that's one style. So if you find yourself in that situation, just, you know, find a good spot and take a photo, and the model, she'll just move around, you know? So you might not get the camera to look at you, but you'll be a nice, might be able to get, get a nice photo anyways. Um, the second type is if you go to an outside part of Tokyo Game Show, there's a lot of people cosplaying, which they look amazing. And I'll, I'll do like a little montage of that soon. Um, but on those, most likely out there, um, you would have people lining up. So you have like one, 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 and they would like um, zigzag, I guess, sometimes. So you really got to follow what the crowd is doing in that regard. Um, you could probably like sneak in and take a photo, but it no one really did that and it would look really bad. So I would just stay in line. Uh, sometimes you did you did see the group idea where people like surrounded like a model and take a whole bunch of photos. Um, if you see that, you know, you know, go ahead and join in that way. But if you see people lining up, um, that's because they really want to get a good shot of that. And I'll try to take a sh I'll try to show you the difference of what the group shot might look like versus when you have the model just for you, you know, because I did get a couple of those. Yeah, so just to wrap up, you know, just look for signs and follow the crowd. That's really, it's pretty simple, you know. All right, and this last thing is tips to take with you when you go to Tokyo Game Show. Of course, when you go, you're going to have to take your ticket. Um, I would take some nice shoes because you're going to be standing a lot and walking a lot. You're going to be standing in line. I know some places, if you wanted to play a game, maybe there was no ticket involved and you just had to stand in line. Those were looking like three hours, you know, just to stay in line to play a game. And for me personally, I was like, I'm not about to waste almost half the day for one game and not look at the other venue, you know? So I wanted to get cool swag also, so I didn't really play the games there. Um, since you're going to get cool swag, you should bring a backpack because you're going to be getting a lot of stuff and you don't want to have it all in your hands, so you can throw it in your backpack. They do give you bags, like backpack bags kind of stuff, like those little jostering bags, whatever. Um, but those are kind of tiny, so you could put stuff in them, but then you're going to be full, you know. So bring a backpack because you can throw all that in your backpack. Um, another tip is to bring an umbrella. Uh, I went on Sunday and it was sprinkling a little bit off and on in the morning. So everyone had like little pocket umbrellas that you can like throw in a little little backpack, you know. You, nothing like huge. And when it just rained, people just popped it up. And when it stopped, they just put it away, you know. And it would fit in your backpack, so bring a backpack. But an umbrella is pretty useful, so check the weather forecast before you go out. Yeah, and that's really about it for Tokyo Game Show. Um, I don't know if I didn't answer any of your questions. If you do have a question that maybe I didn't answer in this video, go ahead and just submit that down below and I'll try to respond back to you as quickly as possible. Um, it's not too expensive to fly over to Japan right now. My friend actually came and visited me a week ago and he left a couple days before Tokyo Game Show. 
he left from LA and he used Singapore Airlines and at the time they were doing $500 round trip which is really cheap um, so if you do want to come look for this time frame maybe buy your tickets your plane tickets you know a month in advance and maybe you can get that really cheap discount um, but yeah 500 is not too bad hotels are not too bad here so you know if you do want to check some of our other videos not regarding Tokyo Game Show but Japan in general go ahead and check those out and I'll put a link or a picture or something up here for last year's Tokyo Game Show so you can see that too but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video um, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe and comment if you had any questions but until next time peace